Hello, everyone. I'm Eleanor Schrader. I'm an art and architectural historian, and I am looking forward to seeing you for our class on the symbolism of color. So just to give you a little taste of what we're going to be talking about, I will take you through each one of the colors of the rainbow, and we'll talk about how the pigments came about to create many of these beautiful works of art. We'll talk about the symbolism that we'll see throughout various cultures of what the various colors may mean. And we'll also talk about how the artist used them in their various paintings throughout the centuries. And then in the case of red, we'll even talk a little bit about redheads. And then going into the color orange, also to talk about where the pigments came from how they were used in beautiful sections, such as these glorious Dutch flowers, and then even how they're used in the coats of animals. And of course, the brilliant colors of autumn, which have a lot to do with oranges and yellows. And then for the oranges, we'll look at the pigments again, and even how they were used in illustrated manuscripts as well as in the paintings of the 19th and 18th centuries, and even some of the famous modern paintings, as we see here, one of the most famous paintings by Edward Hopper. And then going on to green, we'll see how that was used in advertising, as well as some of the images that we see of gaslight upon the woman's face in this Toulouse-Lautrec painting, and then even going to some of the Impressionist work. And this is just a little taste. We'll take the colors, each one of the pigments, and walk it through ancient history to modern art history. Even in the beautiful blues of lapis lazuli, we see that in ancient works. And then in more modern works, even in the peacock vases of Lewis Comfort Tiffany. So not just paintings, but many decorative objects as well. And then my favorite, when we get to purple, we'll talk about how uh, some of the purple colors were created from snails. And then see how these were utilized in many of the beautiful uh, tiled mosaic images that we find in churches and this beautiful lavender dress of this woman. So we'll also talk about some of the permutations of the colors uh, in, as well. So I look forward to seeing you and I have many, many, many wonderful things to show you as we go through the stories of color throughout history.